Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and in the last video we twined our keeper row to keep our base stable, secure, squared up, and now we are ready to upset the sides of our basket. That's the next step. So let me lower the camera here so you can take a look. Okay, I have, uh, just so you know, I have soaked my reed for about five minutes. And what we need to do now is bend our reed right at the twining. Bend it up real good. This is an important step. One of the things that I find my students will do, sometimes they'll just be too gentle with upsetting the sides, upsetting their stakes, and it doesn't get a good bend, and then they have trouble shaping their basket. So you need to make a good, a good bend, a good crease. And also make sure you get that crease right up there against your twining, against your keeper row. Did you hear that little crickety crack? of the reed. Sometimes your reed will, will make a cracking sound. You may need to soak it a little bit longer. A small amount of cracking, would you hear that? A small amount of cracking is normal. This is a really, I can see, this is a really heavy piece of reed. So a little more cracking with that is to be expected. And we'll do our last side. I give it a good, a good crease all the way around. I even kind of, kind of press it a little bit with my finger as I, as I make the bend. Okay, all of our, it still looks like it's kind of laying flat. That's okay, but the what you really do need to do though, are to close pin the corners, and that's going to help you get the sides going up straight. And look at close pins as just being an extra pair of hands and you notice my clothespins are, are pink well I'll, I'll give you a little lesson here so you you don't do my mistake because I teach classes I threw my clothespins in with um, uh, some reed that I was dyeing red uh, just to dye my clothespins red and um, big mistake because <laughs> then the red wanted to come off on my reed as I was weaving, which you do not want. Uh, so don't try dyeing your clothespins just to, like I did, so that I could mark mine and, and uh, keep track of which ones were mine and which ones were the students. Um, that was a mistake. <laughs> anyway, okay, you can see the corners are now being held upright, and that is going to really help you with your first couple rows of weaving and this is this is the end of today's lesson i hope y'all had a really good easter we did i uh, went to church i baked a ham sweet potatoes and i wish you could be here right now because i've got the ham in the crock pot the ham bone with uh, beans and i'm gonna make some cornbread tonight and it smells really good in here all right, uh, have a good day, and I will see you all again soon. Our next lesson will be on weaving those first couple of rows. Take care. Bye-bye.